Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be showing you how to upscale any image with Stable Diffusion's AI. Check out this image of an app I drew in a few seconds on Paint. I was able to transform that into a photorealistic image of an apple in just a few seconds. Here I used it to remove some film grain from my poorly lit webcam pic. Okay, so the first thing you want to do in order to use the 4x ultra sharp is to go to the link provided below and you can just download this file so you don't need all the others. Once you download that file you want to go into your stable diffusion folder go into the models folder and drop it into the ESR GAN folder. Once you have that there, you want to go into your image to image folder or tab as that's where all the magic happens. At first I was just upscaling it through the extras tab and that will give you an upscaled image but it won't actually give you any detail in that image. So the image to image is where the AI actually touches the image up and you want to go into the script folder, select XD upscale, then select four times ultra sharp. Just leave this as just resize. You can play around with the sampling methods as that will change the image a little bit. But I'm just going to leave basically everything the same here. This is the main thing that you want to play around with, which is the denoising strength. At first, I was just leaving that as default and I really couldn't figure out what was going on <laughs> with the image as it was just going crazy with it. You can put something up here like high detail as that will influence the image and you can use the seed as well on the original image that you might have gotten a prompt from but I don't have that. I can get it but I'm just going to leave that as default. Now, let's just generate an image leaving it as the default denoising strength at 0.75, which is really high. It's going to create something pretty crazy that looks nothing like that image. And I'm going to do a few different samples here to show you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's really what I couldn't figure out with the upscaling. Now, to get an accurate image, you'd want to use something, a truly accurate image if you just want it to be touched up, it is something like 0 0.05, 0 0.04 to 0 0.06, and that will keep the image as close as possible to the original. But let's just set it at 3 to let the AI do a little bit of work on it, as it is a kind of undetailed image. I don't think I did enough sampling steps on it. Came out a little blurry. Okay, that took away a lot of the different color on her face. So I would say that the denoising strength is a little too high on that, unless that's what you're going for. Let's just bring it down to 0 0.2. And that left a lot of the original detail on her face. Now, that's pretty good, but it kind of added some extra stuff that's not quite there. But let's just use that as a demo, because I'm going to show you why this is a little bit different. Let's send that to extras. And this is where you're going to upscale it twice again bring it to four times, which is a little confusing. Right, so let's select the upscaler as the four times ultra sharp. You can select two upscalers here, but I've only done it with one. Then you want to go to generate. And once that is done generating, you will have two different files. One is a JPEG and the other is a PNG file. It's quite substantially different in the file size, 480 kilobytes to almost 6 megabytes. I can't notice the difference, but I'm switching between the two now. But you know, PNG is supposed to be lossless detail. It really is amazing on how different all of these different sampling steps are. I found one that kind of 
smooths out the eye without changing too much. See, I mean, it's pretty undetailed, kind of like a, especially the eye. Some are definitely better than others. So I would say DPM2 so far has the best outcome with the settings I'm using anyway. The eyes look a lot, a lot better for sure. This is the default. Actually, that's pretty good too. But some of the others are definitely a lot different. Even though it's given her brown eyes and she's kind of got green eyes. But that's just a mess. <laughs> you might be able to change that with maybe the sampling steps or the CFG scale will change that. Let's see. Nope. Still looks pretty messy. Okay. So let's just drop that back down. I think the sampling steps are actually at 20. Okay. Let's go back to default. As you can see, it just smoothed everything out. The lighting. If you wanted more of that shine, you could just drop the denoising strength. She kind of has two colored eyes there. <laughs> And let's bring back some of the makeup too. Is that around 0.2? Starts to remove a lot of her eyeshadow. Change it. Gives her blue eyelashes now. So, looks pretty nice though. Do like 0.5, even though I, I never use that denoising strength level, except on certain things, just because it just changes it a little too much, unless that's what you're trying to do, especially if you're using it to touch up a man, as it will tend to make you look like a woman <laughs> at anything like Above one, it seems to do that. At point one, I mean. So, I'm just trying to keep it somewhere original or around the original, which is usually around like point two or below. Looks pretty good. Except, I don't really like that stuff on her face, the other stuff, so. Let's just try to get that removed. I just didn't do enough sampling steps on the original image, I think. Yeah, it looks a little a little crazy, some of that stuff. <laughs> and the AI can... Basically try to smoothen it out without removing too much of it. Yeah, I think I like the other sampling step better. Looks pretty good. Let's say it's 
Hopefully the most polished version. Keeping close to the original, let's just drop it down 0 0.01 degree. <laughs> And just that little notch changed it so much. It added, well, I mean, that's kind of closer to what she's got going on there, but it just looks kind of strange. So well, let's see if it gets that removed. No, oh, now it's kind of keeping it. Changing her eyes. It's adding extra stuff on there. So, Sometimes it's not always the same. <laughs> Let's bump up the CFG scale a little bit. Oh, I think it's because I'm using a different sampling step than I was using before. Yeah, this one definitely looks nicer. Definitely have to play around with it a little bit to actually get something. That you think looks good enough. I mean, it's totally drastic on how much it's changing it. But regardless, they're all better than the original. Some of them, it just makes her eye look a little bit strange. And it keeps going between green and brown. Can't really make up its mind. It looks pretty good, except for that smudge. Let's see how much different it is with extra sampling steps. a lot different but I think it just creates diff different images every time <laughs> if you leave it the same it's going to create a different image yes it does okay well that's good to know it's kind of like the image generation I guess it's good to have a seed then you could get more consistent results let's just drop this back down to one, two and let's just run it at like a batch of five. Let's see what you get. Okay, it's gonna give me them all at once. Okay, well that's good to know. I wasn't even aware that it would generate totally different images on each generation. I would say this one's the best. So. Just the eyes and everything else. Let's see. It's like the third one. Oh, well, I don't know. Up close. Yeah, her eye kind of looks like jacked up, but the detail looks good. The eyes just look a little bit better on this one, probably. Oh, okay. Now I want to show you something that is pretty interesting. You can use this to touch up basically any picture, like old pictures of yourself or whatnot that are just kind of grainy. Okay, so I'm going to show you another image that I didn't really like the detail. And let's do the same thing and show you just how totally different I can make her face. Let's put it at point generate that and the higher the denoising strength the more touch-ups it will do on the face or whatever detail it actually made her look like way more Asian <laughs> so let's bring that down to 
point to let's say that looks closer to the original let's just like let it go crazy let's put it at like a 0.5 let's see what the ai will generate <laughs> yep that is totally different just looking more at the viewer and this is turned into a flower that's a picture of an apple i just drew <laughs> like two seconds just to show you what this program can do it's pretty interesting this something that's this low detail and you want a lot of detail in that's when you'd want to use a high denoising strength looks pretty good except the stem is water <laughs> for some reason it keeps wanting to put a hole in my apple but I would say that's pretty similar to my apple the curvature just made it better without the water drops it's kind of just added like shine to it pretty impressive though and what you can do with like a, a five second sketch just to give it more direction if you want to have some kind of starting point and you don't want it to just generate an image of an apple and it's pretty good pretty close and of course if you wanted it something closer to your apple without the water splashing just reduce the denoising strength 0.4 is oh. <laughs> What are you doing, AI? That's a horrible, horrible drawing. I mean, like a five-year-old kid could do better than that. <laughs> Guess my drawing's that bad. You don't want it anything close to the original. You just want to let the AI take over at like a 0.75 or above. <laughs> Pretty close, except for the water stem. Let's just give it the full denoising strength at one. And it'll be the most detailed, but. It's pretty good, but I don't know why it's giving it a, a reflection. Just to get some kind of realistic look, I guess. Let's just put realistic. Let's do three of them. Well, I guess I have to draw my apple better because for some reason at multiple denoising strengths, it keeps giving me a big circle right in the middle. <laughs> so, but still pretty impressive on what the AI can do as far as AI touch-ups or AI creations. And that's pretty much it for the upscaling. Well, I hope this video has helped someone out. If it does, hit that like and subscribe, and hope to see you on the next one.